Hello everyone, uh, I'm here with Chez, and today we are showing a egg dropper that we designed. So this is kind of a uh, mix of both egg automatic and a helix. So this is uh, just slightly smaller than helix because uh, we wanted to make an egg dropper for a 500 wide perimeter, and helix has a minimum of a thousand blocks. So we can go through the individual parts of the machine. So over here, uh, we can see the uh, giant rail line over here. So this is for the player to go and unload the eggs. Uh, and over here you can see we have a couple of pistons uh, getting triggered by the detector rails. And these activate different uh, wires once the player leaves or comes back. So, for instance, this one, this triggers the uh, lazy chunk detector so that you can see when to drop the dragon eggs. And then this line over here, this one is for the egg distribution, which drops eggs onto the track. So, uh, the player would be riding in a minecart, traveling along here, placing the dragon eggs up against the trapdoors. Uh, and then they go right to the end, uh, picking up the dragon eggs along the way. So we can go and see the other side, or we can go and see the middle, I guess. So this is uh, where the two instant wires kind of meet. So we have to uh, trigger the first instant wire, which was triggered by the first piston uh, pulsing for the second time, uh, back over there with the rail line. So that basically, once it, uh, once the player is leaving and going down that long track, then this line will activate, and this triggers uh, this, which is a lazy chunk detector. So we can see here we have falling sand, and this just detects uh, when the sand falls instantly, and it powers through the sand, which uh, tells the machine that this is a lazy chunk now. So. Uh, we take an output from the autosave detector, and that goes into the second line, which we can see over here. So this is uh, this upwards facing line. Yeah, so it, it works with instant fall, it's just uh, the sand would instantly trigger. It's the exact same though. So yeah, we can see the, uh, the right side line, or I guess it's left side line. Uh, so yeah, we can go and see where this goes to if we want to go to the other side, I guess. So the first thing that happens here is we... Uh, so since we get two pulses from the wire, we just... Uh, Packed it into one, and then we activate this uh, line here, uh, and this pulls, uh, or sorry, this pushes this machine. Uh, regularly, this uh, piston is pushed, but when starting, it uh, it's not pushed. So once the player comes uh, over to the end here and places uh, the final egg, this will get uh, moved, or the piston feed tape here will move, and this will uh, push the segment forward. So. Uh, again, once they go and return, this line will get activated once the autosave detector goes off, or, ah, not autosave detector, uh, uh, instant fall, or yeah, laser junk detector. This piston will get pushed, and so from this state, you could actually kind of show it here. So this is the state that it would regularly be in. And then once it gets pushed, that, uh, this observer would regularly update, and this would update this line, which drops the eggs. So now uh, the eggs get dropped once the instant fall detector, ah, let's drop detector goes off. So uh, next we can look at the feed tape, I guess. So this is uh, the machine's way of counting when to move forward. So this gets triggered twice per layer, I guess you could, or yeah, layer, I guess. Uh, so basically, once the player comes to the trapdoor here, he'll place uh, the egg that updates the observer once, which then causes the machine to drop the, the eggs, in which case it gets a second update, which activates uh, this redstone lamp. So since it's a redstone lamp, it gets uh, four ticks of uh, like a powering stage, I guess. So this observer would get two updates from that, and this piston would extend and retract which just triggers this whole piston wall. So this uh, just clears the dragon eggs all along the layers. Uh, yeah, and then, so over here, you can see that we have a sideways facing observer. So once this gets pushed into this position above this redstone lamp, this piston extends, and that's basically how we tell the machine that, that uh, the section is cleared and it needs to move forward. Uh, 
So th this machine can break up to five layers. The bottom layer doesn't get cleared, but it's not really that much of an issue. If you really need those layers clear, then you could just use a uh, a three-way fly machine to punch out the dragon eggs. So you can see a few different uh, circuits up here. So first, we have to make sure that the instant wires don't get uh, they don't get pulsed when moving forward. Uh, yeah, we can yeah put a three-directional fly machine. So yeah, we have to make sure that these wires. Uh, so when these move forward, I guess we could actually show this. So basically, this is like the, the bud that we use. And when it moves forward, it immediately activates. But if we were to activate this logic here, uh, basically, these eggs might drop at a bad time, and this different systems would get activated. You would need like extra binary and stuff like that. So yeah, this is what we do to prevent that. So ahead of time, we push this forward. Anyway, this is like this to begin with. And then... Yeah, so first thing that we do is we push this section forward, and then we push, uh, or sorry, so yeah, since there's this extended piston here, it wouldn't extend, because it's at a uh, push limit. And then uh, this section here uh, would move forward right after, by just retracting the piston and then pushing it. Yeah, so you can see it here. So yeah, we do these uh, a few different ways. Uh, I'll see on the end one here because this wires get short. We use a extended piston. Here we just use push limit. You can probably redesign this to use uh, an extended piston head. Uh, we just didn't think that it'd be necessary. Most I can't think of a server that plays on push limit thirteen or something. So yeah, uh, we can also go see how we did that on the other wire. So the other wire is basically the same on the yeah on the left side, except for it's a pulling wire. So instead of uh, pushing the whole segment, we have something to pull it. And it's just upside down. So that's basically the whole uh, SMR wire system going across. Yeah, it's much easier. So that's basically the whole pulling system. Uh, one thing to note before starting this, you need to make sure that you pulse the distribution once. Uh, otherwise, this might uh, not work correctly. And like the player would run out of, uh, or yeah, it just wouldn't work because the player would just immediately run out of dragon eggs and like half the network will be broken and the machine will just end up crashing after a while. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all the logic for this machine. Uh, as we said, this can be used for both instant fall and non-instant fall, uh, depending on what you have. Obviously, instant fall is faster. You can just shorten the line here. But uh yeah. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, this is much more uh, better to build than Helix because Helix has like specific timings, and you activate two rows ahead. So uh, instead, we just run this off of one uh, universal wire, so that it's uh, just easier to build in general. Uh, other than that, the distribution uh, is basically the same as Helix, but uh, yeah. So with the pulling players, we just use an instant wire here, and at the end, there's kind of just a segment that pushes the player back forwards. Oh yeah, so in the middle, I have to want to fly there. You can see uh, attached to the uh, piston wall. There's two slime lines here, which to be honest, you should probably just make it one and just extend it off at that very end. But there's two players, uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so there's two players in the back here. Uh, you'll see to spawn two bots in, and other than that, it'll work. We use this instead of an autosave detector. We will probably make an autosave detector version, I'd say. I'm not sure. But, uh, it's it's just nicer to use players because I mean using this machine you're gonna need a carpet bot anyways because there, there's no way that you're gonna get away with using a, a a regular player without somehow breaking the machine. So yeah, these basically just keep the whole machine lazy loaded. Uh, obviously the the front bot loads it loads it uh, when it's placing the dragon eggs, but that's fine because it goes away. 
so yeah, this is uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff was made by XCOM. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the dropping line was also by XCOM. Yeah, so the dropping line was by XCOM. The piston wall was by XCOM, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of the logic was also by him. So yeah. Uh, I guess do we want to start this? So the first thing that you want to do is start the distribution, right? Yeah. So the the bot is to have uh, drag eggs in both hands. So we use uh, both the main hand and the off hand. And right when it's about to run out, it gets refilled by the yeah. So yeah. Also make sure to fill its inventory. Wait, is this while looking at that? Okay. See, so yeah, I make uh, use can. No, wait, isn't this supposed to be like interval two? Okay, whatever. And now, I think it's distribution. Yep. So just trigger this line once, I guess, right? Hell yeah. As long as you like load it while you're uh, distributing the eggs. Just fly along with it and you should be fine. Okay, and I think that's, yeah, that's the first distribution done. So now we can go back and start the player. Let's also make sure, are we going to put it on instant fall? Right, yeah, it's already set to true. Okay, so yeah. Uh, just start the player. Yep. Just show how it works, I guess. So yeah, here you can see that for the first time we don't trigger the wires. And then once he comes back, we will trigger the wires. Yeah, but just a showcase of it, how it works, so, like with the player. Okay, so yeah, let's go to the end here. So yeah, you can see right when his off end is about to run out, we uh, replenish him with eggs. So we could see, uh, yeah, uh, and honestly, it's fine. But basically, so yeah, you could see once he placed the final dragon egg, this got an update and this piston pushed forward at the end logic here. So now, once this wire activates, once it comes back, uh, this piston is going to extend and drop the eggs. Yep, so let's go to the end. Before the bot beats us there. Okay, so now he he triggers this line, and that triggers the auto state detect or the lazy trunk detector. But because we have instant fall, it just instantly activates. And yeah, you can see the X got dropped. And in a couple seconds, yeah, you can see the, the piston wall firing gradually. So here you can see it breaking multiple layers. I guess we could also see the process of the whole thing moving forward.
Yeah, so here it breaks an extra layer of bedrock. This one won't break because it's at Y zero, but uh yeah, you break five layers. This is just used for uh in case you use this on the nether roof. Yep, so now it's gonna Yep, drop drop X, then move forward. Yeah, and you can kind of see the whole piston wall uh, keeps on firing because every single observer just got moved. But after a while, it'll stop. Yeah. Okay. So, yep. Now the wall finished. And yeah, you can see the player just. Uh, yeah, we could. We, I guess we we could show the back of the flyer. So yeah, this is just a bunch of pulling extensions that uh pull the player back once he reaches the end. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this wire was also made by XCOM. Okay, I don't really think that there's uh, that much else to go over. Uh, obviously, Playmatic will be in the description. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could show that. Yeah, it's, it's not the fastest thing, but I mean, it's, I, I don't know, it might be the best for a 500 wide. Yeah. Uh, and of course, these are going to be shulker boxes, so yeah. Yeah, there's probably better pu uh, pushing stations, but these are just the ones that we could find, so we decided to use these. Yeah, these are the, the ones for Helix. Yeah. Basically, the whole distribution is mostly the helix. The only thing that's different is the wire. Yeah, we just did the timings roughly. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, the, the very end one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought the end one was slightly more delayed though. Yes, that's pretty much it for this egg dropper. Uh, obviously, Lightmatic is in the description. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy.